happy people welcome back to another edition of tales from the peace corps and today i want to talk to you all about dating while serving in the peace corps um that's a topic that uh i think will be very interesting to discuss with you all so um for those of you who don't know i served in the peace corps from 2014 until 2016 in a small country in Eastern Europe called Moldova. Um, I did business advising there um, and I learned how to speak another language in order to do my job while I was there. So I actually speak Romanian. So that's just a little bit about me, what I did in the Peace Corps, where I served and for how long. And um, let's just hop right on into the topic, dating while in the Peace Corps. It's hard, it's difficult, it's interesting. Um, <laughs> In general, I think dating is complicated, difficult, and hard um, in your own home country, in your own language, but it is like 10 times harder when trying to do that in another country. Um, so when I got to Moldova, I wasn't dating anyone. Um, I went there as a single woman, and um, I would say maybe about... I, well, I had no interest in dating anyone while I was there, to be completely honest with you, because I went there with the purpose of helping and serving others. And so dating, relationships, all of that was like the furthest from my mind. But you all know that we are humans. We like um, human interaction. And so after about a year, I started kind of wandering and looking and thinking, OK, I kind of want to, you know, date someone or have someone to just kind of like hang out with or something like that. Um, nothing really serious. Just want to hang out with, you know. Um, and so I actually created an online profile. Actually, no, I reactivated my online profile that I had originally had when I was in the States. And I, um, let's see, I reactivated and I just changed the country that I was at where I was located. And so, I mean, obviously I had a lot of creepers reaching out to me, trying to talk to me, et cetera, et cetera. Declined most of them. Um, and then there was this one guy who I was chatting with. Uh, he actually was living in Turkey at the time. And um, we started chatting on that uh, dating app and then it moved to kind of like texting and we chatted on the phone here and, here and there. And I actually went to go and visit him uh, once while I was uh, serving in the Peace Corps. It was one of my trips I did to Turkey. And we hung out, it was fun, it was cool, but it was nothing serious. It was just really someone to hang out with for a short period of time. Um, and then after that, you know, it's interesting <laughs> dating, like just dating in another country is just weird. Like I wouldn't say that the men there particularly had an interest in me um, in a serious way. But I think that uh, because I look different, my hair is different from another country, from America, the money country that people think that we are, um, they were interested in me for those reasons. I mean, I've even had one guy said that he wanted to... Um, you know, marry me for a passport. And I'm like, uh, get on my face, negative. Um, <laughs> um, another guy approached me and was, you know, talking about some very inappropriate things. So it was just really weird how, you know, people took to me while I was there. Um, but uh, whenever I would travel into the capital, which was Chisinau, um, you know, I'd get a couple people maybe reach out to me here and there who were interested a few that I entertained you know we hung out once or twice in the capital and then nothing came from it uh, but then there was this one guy how did I meet him I don't even remember how we met now which is so sad I know I, it had to be me being in the capital and then I think maybe he just saw me and approached me I, I'm a very friendly open person and so um i was always excited to just like talk to people especially in romania and i'm pretty sure he either approached me yeah he had to have approached me because i really don't approach people like that and i didn't approach people like that in moldova because um they were very kind of standoffish sometimes and so depending on the day i would either say hi to people or i wouldn't you know <laughs> it was just was an interesting it was interesting trying to be like a friendly open happy bubbly person in moldova and so yeah the um Look at me, y'all. I'm just so relaxed. I'm comfortable. I got my hands crossed over my knees. Anywho, um, so yeah, like, I, I'm pretty sure he approached me. I think I was at the market, like, looking for something, and he saw me. Um, he was interested. Um, we chatted. We had, like, small talk, like, hi, how are you? Where are you from? What's your name? You know, what are you doing here? Et cetera, et cetera. And I think I gave him my number. 
and this was all in Romanian by the way so obviously some things were lost in translation but I gave him my number and um, we were texting on a pretty regular basis um, I even came out to the, the capital and hung out with him a few times um, we went to go get tea one day that's a big thing getting tea and, and, and uh, the biscuits like so like tea and, and cookies and stuff and so we went and got tea one time um, I remember us going to the mall one time hanging out um, he was a really nice guy, very polite. Uh, he actually was half African, half Moldovan. Um, and so that was an interesting, interesting mix. Um, definitely more so Moldovan than anything. His mom um, was Moldovan and his dad was African. And his dad essentially, I think, left Moldova like when he was younger. And so he really didn't have a close relationship with his father. And so I don't think he was really in tune to his um, his African side. And so he was definitely a Moldovan man, you know, like how you're raised is really, you know, um, how you navigate the world. And so he navigated the world as a Moldovan man. And so I will say that overall, in general, I wasn't really um, attracted to Moldovan men like that. Just kind of like their mind state, um, how they thought and process things. I'm a very... I guess forward thinking woman when it comes to things that I want and what I want to do and different type of gender roles that people expect from you when you are uh, a woman versus a man and they were very so much so in the traditional space of how they thought a woman should be at talk um, and what she was required to do and so those were some things that turned me off of Moldovan man but he seemed to be very open and so we continued chatting for a little bit and even for one of my birthdays he even came out to my village and, and hung out um with me um with one of my other friends from the peace corps so really sweet guy really cool dude but unfortunately um it got to the point where um i just really saw him as a friend um i just really wasn't interested in him in that way and in moldova there is no such thing as really just like dating um getting to know each other there was really just a either you're together your boyfriend and girlfriend heading towards marriage or you're not right there's no that in between where you're kind of like dating getting to know each other hanging out there's there's no middle ground there and so um as soon as we hung out a few times i mean i think he was under the impression that i was his girlfriend and he was my boyfriend and we were gonna live happily ever after and i'm like look man i'm only here for like one more year i go home to america you're still gonna be here like this isn't something that's going to really <laughs> be a long-term thing and so um he was i wouldn't say he was aggressive i think he was just doing what the average moldovan man would do when he was dating someone he called a lot text a lot wanted to really spend a lot of time together which was fine because like i said that's kind of something i was looking for anyway but um at some point it got to be a bit too much for me and then i just had to tell him i was just like look i think you're a great guy and I really enjoy your company and I know you're going to make a woman happy someday. But um, unfortunately, um, I think it'd be better if we were just friends. And, you know, these are all conversations. He did not speak English. Right. So these were all conversations I had to have with him in Romanian, which was very, very difficult because, you know, how do you break some break it down to someone in another language? These were terms and um, words I hadn't really used before because they don't teach you dating terminology and things like that. They teach you work terminology and how to navigate and get through day to day life. Not, you know what I'm trying to say. So it was, it was really difficult, but, um, you know, I don't know that he got the message initially. So he just kind of continued on as he was calling and texting and things like that. And then it got to a point where I kind of just, uh, had to kind of separate the communication. I could just space it out a little bit more. I didn't just completely ignore him, but just spaced out the communication a little bit more just so that he can kind of get the message a little bit. Um, I know that he, um, he really liked me. I know that, uh, he would have been very happy if we were still together, but unfortunately that just wasn't the space that I was in while I was there. And so, um, yeah, eventually he got the message. Um, I think we're like still friends on Facebook or something like that. I haven't really made the effort to reach out. Um, but you know, I definitely enjoyed his, his time and company while I was there. Um, and outside of him, I really didn't date anyone else. Um, there was one guy who I hung out with here and there, but nothing. Y'all was, I didn't really date in the Peace Corps for real, for real. And that's why I really consider it like two years of isolation because I really didn't have any 
contact or really close connections with someone of the opposite sex like I would have liked to like <laughs> um, it was just me myself and I y'all so dating in the Peace Corps is hard dating in Moldova is hard dating in another country dating in another language all of that stuff very very different um, people who have different cultural beliefs values than you do sometimes they conflict sometimes you disagree um, but that's not to say it can't be done. Um, I'm currently married to a man that's from another country and, you know, yeah, we have our ups and downs and things like that, but overall it works out great. So, um, yeah, that's just kind of like my story on dating in the Peace Corps. Um, I was going to tell you all one other, oh, one other guy that I kind of sort of dated, not really, we never met each other, but it was just talk text. And so, yeah, it was just pretty much me, myself, and I, um, I didn't date any fellow Americans who were also serving in the Peace Corps, uh, mainly because, you know, that was a very small pot to pick from. And um, once one person had dated someone, oops, <laughs> and like once one person had dated someone, it was almost like everybody's dated that person. Like I said, it was like a group of like maybe 60 people. And, you know, obviously there were people who got together, but overall it was like, Okay, if I'm friends with you, you and you, and you, one of you all dated that guy, and it wasn't a lot of men either, so it's like if you dated that guy, then he's off limits to me. So, the 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 pickings were very slim, and so I didn't date any uh, uh, fellow Americans while I was there. But yeah, that's kind of like my little story on how it was for me dating in the Peace Corps, um, and in particular dating in Moldova. I would be interested to hear if you all have had any experience with dating with someone um, of a different nationality, of a different um ethnicity of a different country just i'd be interested to hear about that and have you ever dated someone um exclusively in a entirely different language like <laughs> me having to speak romanian throughout our whole relationship was just i wouldn't even say it was a relationship but throughout our whole dating experience was very tough you know because there's certain things you you don't know how to say in that other language that you can uh, freely express yourself in your native tongue. So yeah, I'd love to hear y'all's experiences if you have or have not had that. Um, and yeah, as always, let me know if y'all have questions. I'm an open book. I'd be happy to answer them. So leave some love in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Wait, wait, wait. Rewind! I forgot that um, for my Peace Corps videos, I will now be doing all of my outros in Romanian. So yeah. Yo sper ca voi aveți o ziua plin de distracția și frumoasa. La revedere!